kosi ande reki anda ba kosa tabashi ande reki anda ba kosa tabashi ande hallelujah thank you jesus come on we are in the midday people of god but i do believe that i have a word for everyone that is watching let me let you know in advance let me give you a warning disclaimer that the devil is mad because you done messed around and tuned into this life come on people of god i need you to come in mighty god i feel the presence of god already I need you to come in tagging and sharing. Come on in, people of God. Hello, everyone. I am praying everyone is having a blessed day. I don't know what you're going through. But baby, can I tell you, it's not by coincidence that you are here. I truly believe that I have a word, people of God, that is getting ready, my God, to shake every situation that you're going through in your life. Come on, could I get you to come in tagging and sharing? Come on, very quickly, people of God. I need you to come in tagging and sharing. See, the enemy that messed around, come on, and allowed you to tap on the right life. Y'all already know, I'm not going to get started until I feel like everybody is on who's supposed to be on. Give me a second. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you for your presence this afternoon. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let me just tag a few people that I know will come in uh, tagging and sharing immediately. Oh, the enemy is upset and he is mad because the devil is defeated. Come on, I don't know about you, people of God, but I'm in a season of my life, my God, where I don't want to do nothing. Get what I'm saying to you. Come on, but the de- de- defeat every demonic force that is coming up against me. Come on, people of God, the quickest way to put a seed in the ground is by simply doing nothing but tagging and sharing. Come on, we have to come on one accord because the Bible says that where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst, people of God. So if I can get you to begin to come in, come on, come on in, tagging and sharing, I promise you, come on, there is something about to happen. I can promise you there is something that's about to shift people of God. Come on, the devil is defeated in your life. I don't care what you're going through. Ramakosete. Y'all give me a minute. Come on, y'all, y'all, y'all know we it's the middle of the day. So it's gonna take a little longer to build an audience. Come on, but we're gonna wait on God. Come on, I cannot start until I feel like. Come on, I feel like in my spirit. Everyone has been released to the live. Just give me a second, people of God. Excuse me for looking down. I want to take my other phone. Come on and begin to just message um, a few people. You guys come on in. Come on in tagging and sharing. I do believe there's a word. And as I was in worship this morning, people of God, let me tell you something. There are so many of us going through. Come on. Come in tagging and sharing. Come on. Shout out to you. I see Trinette on. I love you, sis. Can't wait to see you this weekend. Y'all come on in. Let me tell you something. Uh, as I begin to worship God this morning, he began to deal with my spirit um, about some things in pertaining to God's people. And let me tell you something, people of God, I don't know about you, but I'm sick of hearing what I'm saying, allowing the devil to come in and mentally, my God, hear what I'm saying, uh, mentally destroy us as a people. This morning, I was telling my friends, give me a second. I'm almost done sending this inbox around, people of God. So people can know I'm live because I barely go live uh, in the daytime. Just give me a second. Give me a second. And I promise you, we're going to let God be God. Hello. May God continue uh, to bless everybody who's coming in. Hey, Tiffany Bowman. How are you, sis? Y'all come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Um, And we're going to go again and we're going to get started. Just give me a second. I just want to inbox just a few more people and then I promise you um, we're going to let God be God today just hold on a second you guys God I ask that you break up anything that is not like you in the name of Jesus God you're mighty you're powerful 
Come on, he's victorious. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just hold on, you guys. I'm just bringing a few more people uh, onto this live. Just give me a second. Come on, come on. I know. I know we're building an audience. Just give me a second. Reiki on the Bible, Father God, I ask that you begin to have your way um, as I begin to minister on this live today. Father, I ask that you do what only you can do, God. No weapon, Roku Siani, formed against us shall prosper. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, can y'all hear me clearly on Facebook? Can you hear me clearly? I got worship going in the background. Come on, can you hear me clearly? God bless you, Trina Daniel. Come on, God bless you, uh, Prophetess Natasha Smith. Come on for coming in, tagging and sharing. Um, you guys, I also got TikTok going. So if you see me looking uh, left and right, it's because of the simple fact um, that I also got TikTok going. Y'all come on in, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. Hello, everyone. Just give me a second. Just let me get settled. Let me get this straight. I promise you, I'm going to let God have his way. Um, and I'm about to go in. As you guys begin to come on, come on, on TikTok and on Facebook, could I get you to tag and share? Just tag and share. Tag 10 people you love, you care about, you want to motivate very quickly. There is a word for everyone that is watching on today. Come on in, people of God. Come on, there's a word that's taking place. And that there's a word um, that's about to happen. Did you guys say you can hear me clearly on Facebook? Just let me know again that you can hear me clearly. Let me know again that you can hear me clearly. Come on, there's a word that is getting ready to come forth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, just two more minutes. We're going to push and then I'm going to let God begin to have his way. Um, I don't know what you are going through today, but I want to ask that you begin to clear your mind so you can begin to receive. And this is why people of God, I do have worship going in the background, warfare worship, prophetic worship, because I do believe people of God that we are in a season of our life where the enemy is allowing everything that we are going through to begin to emotionally overtake us. Come on. I see that you just jumped on Tanya Charter. Come on, I always tell people, this is the quickest way to put a seed in the ground by simply tagging and sharing. And it does, hallelujah. Let me know that you have tagged and shared. So I dispatch angels to every person that is simply being obedient right now in the name of Jesus. I asked God, what did he want me to talk about on today? And he told me that today's message, people of God, first of all, let me introduce myself. Hello, I'm Dr. Shakira McFadden. Um, some of you are on this live today um, because you have been tagged and shared to this live. If you was tagged to this live, the person who tagged you cared about you, my God, and they wanted to encourage you um, on today. There are some people that will catch this replay a little later because there are people who are at work and things like that. But let me say to you, the one that's watching right now, baby, let me tell you, you got made because the early bird catches the worm. Today's message, if you are just now tuning in and I won't be on for long, but I promise you, if you get this message, your whole life is about to change. I promise you. Thank you, Ashley Wesley, for coming in, tagging and sharing. We dispatch angels to your home, Katrina, Ashley, Stacey to everybody who's tagging and sharing and being obedient the message this afternoon people of God is he's uprooting it there are two things I'm going to ask you to do as we begin to go on this journey this afternoon if I say something that blesses you I need you to begin to comment back to back to back why because our thumbs hear what I'm saying people of God are prophetic the Bible says that where two or more are gathered he is in the midst the only way we can come in agreement with what God is doing for you people of God is if I say something that blesses you I need you to begin to tap into to get on 
on board. Don't just be on here watching. That's the problem. You're sitting and you're watching and this is why the enemy is coming through and demolishing everything connected to you. Watch this. God said he'll take a step if you just take one step. So prophetically today, I need you to type Use your fingers. Come on, you guys. Give me those hearts. Come on, give me those hearts on the screen to let the devil know that you are woke and you are ready for war. If you are just now tuning in this afternoon, people of God, the message is he's uprooting it. He's uprooting it. I need everybody to put in the com in the comment section twice. I want you to comment it two times back to back. God uprooted. The reason, people of God, I love using the word it is because I believe that everybody's situation is different, but we serve the same Rabakosaya. We serve the same God. As God began to give me the message on today, I begin to just be so blessed by the message, people of God, because I begin to sit down and think about all my problems and my issues and everything that I need God to uproot in my life. Hey, how are you, Conquiz? I love you so much. Could you tag and share? Kawana, I see you on. Come on, I need y'all to come on tagging and sharing. Why? Because we're sowing seeds. The definition, people of God, of uproot is to pull out of the ground. Y'all pray for me. I'm going to try not to scream through this. Uh, I cleared out my whole house. Everybody is going in my house today because I just needed to walk through and pray and to worship and to speak blessings over my home before I jumped on live. Y'all better try to do that. Hear what I'm saying to you. The message is he's uprooting it, but the definition, people of God, of uproot is to pull out of the ground. Somebody say, God, snatch it out of the ground. Put it in the comment section. Snatch it out of the ground. In order, people of God, to get rid of something that is growing, that you want to be removed, my God, you got to uproot that thing. If you go outside right now and you begin to mow the lawn and you make a mistake and you cut a tree, because you're cutting from the top of, a gr of the ground, it will eventually grow back. But could I tell you, baby, when you take your hands and you uproot me, you pull up a thing from out the ground. It is no longer there. Oh, I need somebody to put in the comment section. Poof, be gone. Come on. B-O-O-F. Poof, be gone. Watch this, people of God. As God began to give me today's message while coming out of worship and blessing the name of the Lord, I begin to get excited, people of God, because there are so many of us that are going through things and going through situations because watch this, it's still uprooted. It's still rooted, I mean. The very thing that you're praying for God to do, you're chopping it down with prayer, but you're not uprooting a thing. And watch this. This is why you go through the same issues with your kids over and over and over. This is why you go through the same issues in your relationships over and over and over. This is why people of God, when it comes to your finances, you're experiencing the same things over and over and over. This is why people of God, you're going back to the doctor giving the same news over and over. Over and over about your health because you haven't uprooted it. So when God told me the message you're going to give the people of God is he's uprooting it. I begin to get excited. If you are just now coming on, please begin to tag and share before you begin to watch. Watch this. The definition of uproot is to pull out of the ground. As God began to deal with me with today's message, people of God, watch this. He said to tell the people of God that I am uprooting your feet. I want somebody to put in the comment section, God, uproot my feet. Come on, come on, come on. I got to take y'all somewhere today. Come on, I got to take y'all somewhere today. So I just need, we're going to ride on cruise control for a second. And then after we do that, I promise you, I'm going to go all the way in. God said, you the one that's watching this video. It's not by coincidence that you are on here right now. He said to tell you, watch this. I'm uprooting your feet. Say, God. What do you mean by you're going to uproot the people of God's feet? Watch this. He said, because I need to move them from one place to another. 
Let me give you the disclaimer. This disclaimer, baby. Before you tell God to uproot your feet, you better be ready for everything that come along with the uprooting. Yes, there will be blessings. Hear what I'm saying. But there are some attacks, mighty God, that are going to come along the way. He said to tell the people of God, I'm trying not to preach because I said I needed to teach you something first and then I'm going to do some preaching at the end. God is saying, people of God, the reason it's seeming like a merry-go-round of issues and of problems. It seemed like you're walking around the same tree and the same issue over and over. It's because you have not uprooted that thing. You haven't pulled it from the ground so it can not continuously grow back he said to tell the people of God I'm uprooting their feet I feel my help coming he said watch this I'm moving you from one place to another I said God you got to give me a little more than that he said watch this some of you where you are at right now in life your feet have been seeming it there too long Dr. Shakira McFadden, what do you mean by that? Some of you where you are right at in this very moment, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job, whether it's a situation, God is saying, watch this, your feet have been planted in places that you are unwanted. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta bring it down some because I'll start preaching. I'll start preaching to myself. If this message don't bless nobody else, baby, it has blessed me. Hear what I, I made everybody get out my house. Go, the kids go, my husband go, baby, because when you're getting ready for war, when you're going through warfare, when you need to pray and send out some demonic demons, when you need to pull it up root, you don't need nobody standing Rabbi Kosiah in your way while you're doing it. Hear what I am saying to you. God is saying there are some of you in situations. How are you, Lakeisha? Let me get you to tag and share. Come on, as you come in, begin to tag and share. There are some of you people of God that are in situations where your feet have been planted and you're not even wanted. What do you mean by that, Evangelist Shakira? He said, watch this. You're no longer desired. There are some of you fighting for relationships where they don't even desire you anymore. I was telling one of my friends on the phone this morning, I said, you know, I've been married since I was 19 years old and I'm 41. My husband has been married since he was 15 years old. We got to get permission from his mother to marry me. He's five years younger than me. You get what I'm saying? But we've been married 20 years come February the 14th, Valentine's Day. Hear what I'm saying? So we got married young. And I was explaining to my friend today that about two or three years in the marriage, I felt undesired. I felt unwanted. I felt unimportant. I felt unloved. But I kept fighting. There are some of you in situations that God is saying keep fighting in. And there are some of you in situations God is saying your feet are seeming it in the wrong relationship. But in order for you to know mighty God, hear what I'm saying. If God wants you to uproot that thing and move on, you got to get in the face of God. I want somebody to put in the comment section God uproot me Uproot me, uproot me, uproot me He said some of you are in situations Where you're unwanted You're you're undesired There are some of you people of God You're in situations Get what I'm saying to you Watch this where people don't appreciate your gift Watch this They tolerate your gift Because it benefits them but they don't appreciate my God who you are as a person my God and what you got to give my God because I am let me let can I be honest with you some people are not out here looking for love people of God they looking for help that when that, that listen that's the truth when it comes to you to ministry that's the truth when it comes to relationships that's the truth when it comes to your own kids could I be honest with you when it comes to family? God is saying you got to be careful, my God, where you are grounded at in this season. Because if you don't, my God, you will wither away and die. If you 
are planted, my God, in ground. Why? Watch this, people of God. Of people who are constantly using you and taking from you. You will eventually get tired with the way and die. Oh, I want somebody to just come in twice, back to back. I don't want to die. I, I don't want to die in this. I love you, but Rabako setete, Ramaki andabako, Roko I feel God. I'm trying to calm down because I said I don't want to preach. I love you so much. I I love you with all my heart, all my mind, and all my soul. But I love me more. I, I love you so much. But I gotta uproot myself. Watch this. Because if you don't, watch this, you'll die. Could you imagine, my God, going to your grave? There are people who died from high blood pressure and stress. And my God, they're six feet under in the grave. And the person they were stressed about is living their best life. No. No, God said he's uprooting it. There are some of you people of God. God said, watch this. He got to move your feet. Watch this. Because you have outgrown where you are. Hear what I'm saying to you. God said there are some of you. God has to remove your feet because you have outgrown where you are. What do you mean by outgrown? You got too big for it. There are some of you, watch this. God said, I got I, I gotta move you out of that messy friendship because you've outgrown it. What do you mean by that, evangelist? They don't want to see you past them. They went from cheering from you and being happy for you till you decided to step out on faith and do exactly what you told them you was getting ready to, to do. People love you until you put action into play. I mean, people will love you. you better, man, y'all better hear me. People will love you until they see you passing them. People will love you until you say, I no longer got time to just be hanging out. That hang out, baby. I got goals. I got dreams. I got visions. And God is saying, there are some of you that are stuck in real Oh, I feel my help from the Lord. Hear what I'm saying? There are some of you, people of God. God said, I got to uproot it. If you are just now tuning in, people of God, the message today is God is uprooting it. And to uproot something means to pull directly from the ground. There are some of you, God said, I got to uproot your feet. I got to move you from one place to another. Why? Because you're stuck in situations where you're unwanted. What do you mean by I'm unwanted? I'm undesired. You don't appreciate what I got to give in Anymore. So it's time for me to move my feet. He said, there are some of you, you're in situations that you've already outgrown because your mind is bigger. You thinking bigger. You want more. Come on. People went from ruin. You on mighty God. Hear what I'm saying? To secretly hate it. Some of you are in friendships that you've been outgrown and you don't even understand. They really keeping you back. They are holding you from your best potential. I dare somebody to put in the comment section twice. I, I got potential, baby. I, I got potential. I don't know about you, baby, but you better get what I am saying to you. Baby, I got potential. God is doing big things in my life, so I got to remove my feet. He's doing big things in my life, so he got to uproot this relationship. And watch this, people of God. It don't feel good when God uproot us from people we love, but it is necessary for you to break out and break through into your nets. I dare you to comment three times back to back. It's necessary. And the reason, the reason I want you to comment that thing three times back to back, because it might be three different situations that God needs to uproot you out of. Baby, I got potential. I got so much potential. I can't play around with if we friends uh, 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 January and February and then March you talking about me behind my back. I got potential. There are some of you people of God, God is saying, I got to uproot your feet because you are comfortable where you are. Comfortable being, meaning you too relaxed. You can't even go to the next level. Get what I'm saying? Because you are comfortable where you are. God been told you, I'm going to bless you with a house. You ain't take the steps to get the house because you comfortable. You making enough to pay your rent in. You afraid of your next. 
Do I got some honest people on here that don't mind saying, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. There are some of you, God is saying, get up out of that relationship because I got somebody better, my God. But you're afraid of being alone, you. You're afraid of starting over. Do I got some honest people on here that can come it back to back? I'm afraid, I'm afraid. There are some of you, people of God, God is saying, write the book. Come on, but you don't want your family and people to hear what you really went through. So you're afraid to open your mouth and tell your story. Oh, I dare somebody to put, I'm afraid. All the bougie people, this is the time to exit the live. Come on, we on get real and raw cut. Uncut, raw. I, I, I'm afraid, I'm a, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. Hold on, you guys. Hold on, you guys. Uh, there's a, there's a, hold on, let me just block this Sylvie person. Uh, that's a fake page saying connect with them. Uh, somebody overseas, y'all don't be moved. Uh, watch this, people of God. God said you comfortable. He said you so comfortable, it's scary. You, oh Jesus, you so comfortable, it's scary. Some of y'all, God been told y'all to pack y'all boxes and move to the next state. Stay, but you afraid. Rabakosiande. You, you, you too relaxed. There are some of you, God said, I'm calling you higher to another church. I'm calling you to another ministry. And I, but I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to move my feet. You scared. Somebody say, God, take the fear out of me. Take the, take the fear out of me. Take the fear out of me. He said, I'm, I'm uprooting it. He said, watch this. The second thing that God will be uprooting. Watch this. The first thing God is uprooting is your feet. The second thing that God will be uprooting people of God is your mind. Watch this. Hold on. There's a scripture I want to give you for God uprooting your feet. And that's in 2 Samuel 7 and 10. Watch this. In 2 Samuel 7 and 10, it says this people of God. And I will appoint a place for my people. And I will plant them. Anytime God is appointing something, baby, you can go full force. Because if God sent you, it's already taken care of. If God is saying, remember I said that he said to tell the people of God, I'm uprooting their feet. Meaning I'm moving them from one place to another. He's removing you from where you unwanted. He's removing you from places you've already outgrown. And he's removing you from where you are comfortable. He said, watch this, in 2 Samuel 7 and 10, and I will appoint a place for my people. And I will plant them. Watch this. So that they may dwell, dwell in their own place. And be disturbed no more. I'm going to say it again. And I will appoint a place for my people. And I will plant them. So that they may dwell in their own place. And be disturbed no more. Be disturbed no more. That means no stress. That means no anxiety. That means no frustration. That means no more having to cuss people out. That means no more having to put your hands on people. About playing with your gangster. He said, I, 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 I'm appointing you to a place. But if God appoints you, you got to be ready to move your feet. If God appoint you, you got to be ready to move your feet. He said, also tell the people of God, I'm uprooting their mind. God is saying there are some of you, watch this, your mental state right now is not okay. Do I have some honest people on here who don't mind putting in the comment section, it's not okay. I got to go, listen, I preach all the time, baby. I got to go over to Africa to get my mental together. On the other side of the world, a 22 hour flight. So if I am a servant of God that preaches in, in, in all of this daily, and I can sit on here and say, I was not in a good mental space. My God, you gotta be able to be honest with yourself. Some of y'all can't be delivered out of your situations because you too busy trying to put on. No, I don't want to put on no more. I don't want to put on no more. God, help me with my mental. Because if I don't be right in my mental, my God, my whole bloodline fails. God, help me with my mental. Oh, I dare you to put it. It's not okay. It's, it's not okay. It's, it's not okay. My mental, it's not okay. Watch this. He said to tell the people of God, I'm uprooting their mind. Because their mental state is not okay. Some of you people of God, watch this, you're all over the place. And God is saying, watch this, the enemy is conquering you because your mind is cluttered. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say that again because I need you to catch this in the spiritual realm. God is saying the enemy is conquering you 
because your mind is cluttered. You ever walked in somebody's house and they got stuff everywhere? You'll be like, how do they function? Stuff just everywhere. Everything is cluttered when you are in a situation, people of God, mentally where your mind is all over the place. How can you defeat the enemy if one minute you think about your relationship, the next minute you're worried about your bills, the next minute you're worried about what the doctor said, the next minute you're worried about how you're going to get money to, 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 uh, uh, to cook for your children, the next minute you're worried about how you're going to provide for your kids, the next minute you're worried about your child on drugs, the next minute you're worried about this court case against you, the next minute you're worried about your credit cluttered I want somebody to put in the oh Jesus I want somebody to put in the comment section twice God untangle me God is saying watch this I gotta uproot your mindset you ain't even functioning mentally the way you used to it's so much on you mighty God instead of the devil dropping the stress the, the weight of the world from people and your own issues on your mighty God shoulders he been dropping it on your mind you don't know if you coming or going God said I gotta uproot this thing I gotta uproot this thing I gotta uproot this thing As he begin to uproot this thing It's gonna require for you to get your mental together it's going to require for you to get your mental together. Y'all already know this Saturday. Oh, and this is just an honest, vulnerable moment. A transparent moment. This Saturday, people of God, I'm releasing uh, my book, I Fell in Love with a Thug. And it's, it's my truth. It's my story. Y'all know I keep that thing all the way real. The book is dropping. The book releases this Saturday. But this Thursday, it's dropping on Amazon. Two days early. So you can order your books, get them to your house. And I was worried about this book. I was calling everybody yesterday. No, day before yesterday. I'm like, God, I know the, the church people going to be like, why is she in this book talking about it? Because it's so raw. It's so uncut. Everything about me is raw. And it's uncut. And God told me, stop calling around the people. Do what I told you to do. Watch this. Whether it's a bad reaction from the holy, the over holy people or it's a good reaction, it's all free promo. I don't know who this message is for, but oh Jesus, mentally this thing is overtaking you. God is saying, just follow me. I got to uproot worrying about what people was going to say. I got to uproot worrying about how people are going to feel. I got to focus on my assignment and what I'm called to do. There are some of you people of God. You are mentally going through things because you are letting people thoughts, people feelings, and people emotions overtake you. Your mind is cluttered. You worried about how people going to feel. Your mind is cluttered. You letting everybody drop their problems and their issues on you. Your mind is cluttered. You got to worry about feed, uh, 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 making everybody happy again, making sure everybody good and you mentally over there withering and breaking down and being destroyed and nobody's there. God is saying, I'm uprooting it. He said, this time around, I got I to gotta pull that thing out the ground so it won't grow back. Mentally, you are cluttered. Watch this. Romans 12 and 2 says this, people of God. It says, watch this. Do not be conformed by the pattern of this world. Meaning, don't worry about everything that's going on. Don't worry about what's going on. Watch this. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to pass the test. Oh, Jesus. Rabba Mama Kosiki. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind so you can pass the test. This is why God is saying you got to uproot your mental state. Because lately you ain't been the best version of yourself. Because of everything that life is throwing at you. Lately you ain't been able to be the best version of you. Because of everything that's being dropped on you at once. Your mind is all over the place. People of God, let me tell you something. 
There are sometimes I'm riding in the car with my husband, and this is the honest God's truth. And while I'm riding in the car with my husband, he can say, baby, I love you. I tell you no lie. He'll be like, baby, I love you. I won't even hear him. Not that I'm ignoring him, but my mind just be all over the place. Whenever you find yourself mentally all over the place, thinking about every single thing that, the, that life is throwing at, at you, that the devil is throwing at you, you got to begin to take charge of your mind. I've got a sound mind. Oh, I dare somebody to comment that thing three times back to back in the comment section. Baby, I got a sound mind. When I go to worrying about how God is going to do something, I got a sound mind. When I go to try to figure out, God, what's going on with my children, I got a sound mind. When I go to worrying about God, is my husband about to relapse again? I got a sound mind. God said you got to get to a place where you uproot those thoughts. He said to tell the people of God, I am uprooting it. He's uprooting your feet for people who just jumped on. I said the first thing was God, God was uprooting was your feet. I want everybody to put in the comment section, number one, your feet. And I'm going to run through this quickly. He said to tell the people of God, I got to uproot it. The definition of uproot is to pull out of the ground. He said the first thing, watch this, he got to uproot is your feet. Why? Because he got to remove you from one place to another. And anytime people of God. Uprooting something is an action word. Anytime people of God, God got to move you from one place to another, you don't even realize a shift just took place. Catch that in the spiritual realm. Baby, uproot is an action word. Anytime God got to move, remove you from one place to another, he's shifting something in you. He said to the people of God by uprooting their feet, I got to uproot them from unwanted situations. Meaning, watch this, you are in places and attached to people who no longer desire you. He said, I got to uproot them from places they have outgrown. What do you mean, Evangelist Shakira? Some of you are stuck in places that, watch this, that you, Jesus, you got too big for something. You in relationships and in friendships where you've outgrown your friends and now they messy. Come on, they went from cheering you on and now they messy. He said, I got to uproot the people of God from where they're comfortable at. God can't take you to your next if you're comfortable. Why? You lazy. You don't want to move your feet. He said, he said, he said, you became too relaxed. And then the second thing I need everybody to put in number two, I need you to put number two, God is uprooting the mind. He said the enemy is able to conquer you. Watch this because your mind is cluttered. God got to remove the clutter, the weight of the world, the issues, the problems. And then the last thing, people of God, that God told me to come and tell you he was uprooting was your emotions. Come on, number three is your emotions. Come on, when I move, you move just like that. When I move, you move just like that. If I'm saying type something, type it. Why? Because you don't understand you're prophetically uh, ministering through your thumb, through your thumbs. The, sec the third thing you got to uproot people of God is your emotions now when you uproot your emotions baby the God <laughs> people of God when you uproot your emotions baby hear me, hear me well it's not going to be easy he said watch this there are some of you that are going through it in your relationships my God and sometimes it gets so bad you don't want to get out of bed sometimes it gets so bad you don't want to go to work Sometimes it gets so bad you 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 know you don't you don't want to you you don't want to even uh, 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 be the best version of yourself. You can't be a parent. Come on, let's be honest, man. Let's be honest. It's hard for a parent to say I fail as a parent when I'm going through with my husband. I fail as a parent when I'm going through with my wife. I fail as a parent when my baby daddy acting up. I fail as a parent when my baby mama acting up. You gotta God say He gotta uproot you out of your emotions. Pulling that thing all the way from the ground before it destroy you. Watch this. There are some of you God is saying he got to uproot that anger out of you. You've been angry. You've been upset. Oh, do I got some honest people that don't mind putting in the comment section, I've been angry. I'm angry about how they did me. I'm angry about how they tried me. I'm angry because my mom and daddy was never in my life. I'm angry because I never knew my father. I'm angry because they raped me. I'm angry because they touched me. I'm angry because he cheated. I'm angry because she cheated. I'm angry because she won't let me see my kids because I don't want to be with them. I'm angry because they how they treat me on the job. I'm angry because they got my kids took it. 
I'm angry because I got, uh, 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 they fired me. I'm angry because I did so much for my children. They treat me like crap. Who is this for? I'm angry because they betrayed me. I'm angry because they lied on me. I'm angry because they talked about me. I'm angry because they supposed to be my family. They got my back. Come on, but they linking, they linking up with the, with, 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 with my, um, assassinators. I'm angry. Come on. Angry, 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 angry. I said, I got to uproot you out of your emotions. Do you know, uh, people of God, being angry, hear what I'm saying? Hear what I'm saying? If you don't see, not, hear nothing else from this life, I hope I bless you with this. Being angry is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. I'm going to say it again. Being angry is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Half of the time, the people we mad at, they living their best life. And we upset. I used to tell my husband when I used to get so mad, when he would relapse on drugs and then come home and all of a sudden you want to eat and sit and watch TV. And I'm sitting on the bed with my legs shaking, pissed off, upset, wanting to just swing on him. Bop! Why you keep using drugs? Bop! Good people make you feel that way. You praying to God one minute, baby, then you ready to slice the ties on the car. Can, can, can we just be honest? You will be upset and angry. God can't even bless you. Watch this. And they live in their best life. Being angry is like drinking poison yourself and expecting the other person to die. So God said, I got to uproot them out of their emotions. Because the enemy is able to control you through your evil. I feel the presence of the Lord. He's telling me to stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. He said, there's many, there are many of you in, in your Rabakusiande. You feel like Rokusiande. You've never got vindicated. You feel like God never, he, he should be on your side. But it's, it's looking like the other person got the upper hand because you are at the lowest of the lowest in your life right now. And God is saying, don't be angry. I got this. Ooh. Somebody say, God, touch my heart. Touch my heart, God. I don't want to be angry. I don't want to be upset. I don't want to be a wicked person. God, that ain't even my character. Deal with my emotions. Do you know that most of the time, people of God, when the enemy get you out of place, my God, his intentions is to get you out of character? Hear me. Baby, if I get you out of character, then I got your emotions. If I got your emotions, then I got your heart. If I got your heart, then I know your mind is cluttered. Because you're going to think about how they tried you over and over again. God is saying, let it go. Oh, I dare somebody to put in the comment section four times, back to back to back. I want to let it go. And the reason you're commenting it back to back to back four different times, because you, you got you got a lot of situations going on. God, I want to let it go. I, I want to let go the anger, God. I, I want to let go the stress of my children. I want to let go the stress of my relationship, God. I want to let go uh, uh, the stress of my finances. He said, I got to uproot your emotion. Ephesians 4, watch this. Hold on, you guys. Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4, uh, verse 26 through 27 says this. In your anger, do not sin. I don't care how frustrated you get, how upset you get. You got to stop reacting to things. If you react to it, how God going to teach him a lesson? Tell me how. You done handled it already. What you need God for? Watch this. I want somebody to put in the comment section, baby, God can do you way worse. giving it to God because he can do you way worse he can he can do you way worse it says in your anger do not sin do not let the sun go down while you still anger some of y'all go to bed upset because of what they did or what happened and you get up upset the, oh, Jesus Christ the same day 
The Bible says, do not let the sun go down while you are still anger, angry. And do not give the devil a foothold on you. The reason they got one up on you is not because what they did. Because God say, I will vindicate you. He said, I got this. But the reason they got one up on you is because you walk around angry about it. Somebody say, God, take the anger away. I'm not afraid to say it, God. Take the, take the, take the anger away. He said, he said to tell the people of God. The last thing that I am uprooting because I got to get out of here. Today's message, if you are just now tuning in this afternoon, was he's uprooting it. The first thing God is uprooting is your feet. He's shifting you from one place to another. He's removing you from places that you are unwanted, out, that you have outgrown, and that you are comfortable in. He said, the next thing I'm, root, I'm uprooting, people of God, is the mind. Because your mind is so cluttered, the enemy is conquering you because of the clutter in your mind mentally. Thinking about everything in life that is happening to you. You cannot think, you cannot process anything. He said to tell the people of God, I'm uprooting their emotions. He's uprooting the anger from your heart, the unforgiveness, the stress, the, the depression, the feeling overwhelmed. He said, I'm uprooting it. And the fourth thing, people of God, that he's uprooting, watch this, people of God, it's the curse. I want Roko Tabasiande. Rabako Sianaba. Oh, I felt that. Watch this, people of God. I want everybody to put that down. Number four, God is uprooting the curse. He said, I'm uprooting the curse, people of God. I'm uprooting the curse. Any witchcraft, he's uprooting. Watch this. Any generational curses. There are some of you, you did nothing wrong. You just was born from your mother. What do you mean by that, Evangelist Shakira? Grandma could never stay in a relationship. Your mama could never keep a man. Now, for some reason, you're going through relationship after relationship. There could be a drug curse. Everybody in your family may have been on drugs. And that thing have trickled down. Come on, and now it done fell on your children. There can be, watch this, people of God, a struggling curse. Everybody in your life have lived paycheck to paycheck. Everybody in your life and in your bloodline have just had enough to barely get by. I don't want to live like that. God uproot the curse. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I uproot the curse right now in the name of Jesus. God, I break everything that has been passed down through the bloodline. I decree and declare it stops with them. In the name of Jesus. God, I kill it by fire. You're consuming fire. God, I, I uproot depression. And I uproot anxiety. And I uproot HIV, God. And I uproot AIDS, God. I uproot lupus. And I uproot cancer. I uproot heart congestion and heart failure. God, I uproot diabetes in the name of Jesus. I, I uproot, God, mental disorders. I uproot ADHD, God. Oh, Jesus, I uproot it. In the name of Jesus. I uproot struggling. I uproot living by minimum wage. Come on, y'all should be putting amen in the corner as I call out your situations. Come on, comment that thing back to back. I uproot uh, 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 having to borrow and beg. I uproot struggling. I uproot only having enough to get by. I uproot being told uh, time, no time after time. I uproot every application that's being filled out. My God, and they just look over your application because of your background or because you don't qualify. I uproot it and pull it up in the name of Jesus. I uproot every struggle of getting pregnant. I uproot every spirit of abortions. I uproot every spirit of, of, of miscarriage. I uproot every spirit of miscarriages. I uproot every spirit of cluttered ovaries in the name of Jesus. I uproot what the doctor said and reverse it and transform it back saying you shall never birth a child. I uproot it in the name of Jesus. I uproot being in relationships where you are being taken advantage of, where you are being uh, used. I uproot mental abuse 
in the relationships and physical abuse. I uproot black eyes and bust lips and having to hide behind sunglasses. I uproot it in the name of Jesus. I uproot every Jezebel spirit of them uh, 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 being with multiple people and you while you are faithful and loyal. I uproot it in the name of Jesus. I uproot any of our children struggling mentally in school. I release that they are retaining the information that they are being taught. I uproot bullying. I uproot uh, a gun violence. I uproot children being dis uh, disappearing, leaving out for, for school or to go somewhere and not returning home. I uproot it in the name of Jesus. I uproot kids being snatched and molested. I uproot molestation. I decree and declare that because it happened to you, it shall not touch your children and grill oh, my mama so and grandchildren in the neck. Come on, I uproot it. I uproot it. Somebody put in the comment section. I uproot. Come on, come on. I uproot the court case. It shall go in your favor. I uproot the delay of your paperwork. You have won the case. Oh, Come on, I uproot it. Any money that is being held up is being released in the name of Jesus. I uproot the spirit of divorce. In Jesus' name, amen. God is uprooting a thing. And this time around, when he uprooted people of God, he's snatching it from the root. Some of you are watching. You have not been the best parents. I know I wasn't. Baby, I was in and out. On drugs. Getting locked up back to back. I don't want that for my children. I uproot it every day. I bind it up every day. Generational curses are real. I want everybody to put in the comment section. Break generational curses, God. Break it. Listen. Listen. The main thing that blessed me when I met, when I made this live, people of God, is this. <clears throat> when God told me he was uprooting the people of God's feet. And when he said, I got to move them from one place to another, I said, God, that's an action word. That means you about to shift something. Something about to be shifted. And he said, I got to uproot them for three reasons. Whoa, my, 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 so tabashi, I think. I got to uproot them because they are in situations where they're unwanted. They're connected to things where people don't desire them or appreciate them anymore. He said, watch this. They are in, they're in situations. Watch this, people of God, that they've outgrown. God said, I, you, you've conquered everything there. I'm trying to take you to new territory. Some of y'all in friendships and relationships, man, you've been past them. And they're holding you back. And then the last thing he said, people of God, watch this. I'm uprooting them and moving their feet because they're comfortable. You cannot get to your necks unless you move your feet. I want somebody to put in the comment section, I'm going to move my feet. I'm going to move my feet, baby. I'm in route to my blessings. I'm no longer stuck and stagnant. I'm in route to my blessings. God is uprooting a thing. But you got to let him. You got to let them. God uproot my emotions. Deal with me. God uproot my mindset. I got a sound mind. Uproot my feet. Come on. Who is this for? You cannot give up. If you are constantly moving. I told my friend earlier today. I said the reason. Uh, 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 a lot of people get depressed. Is because they sit around doing nothing. <clears throat> Too much time on your hands. I don't care if you got to get up and just exercise. I don't care if you got to get up and, 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 and just start writing. Do something. Because when you are stuck in one place, the enemy will play with your mind. Stop letting the devil play with your mind. No longer. I don't know who I bless with this message today. But hear me and hear me well. This time around, you got to uproot that thing. If you just pluck it or you cut it, it'll grow back. But if you pull it from its root, you no longer have to deal with it. 
I am here to tell you, I don't know what problem and what issue you got, baby. But God is doing it. God is doing it. God is doing it. Do you believe it? You ought to put it in the comment section. God is doing it. God is doing it. You're due for a miracle. Oh God, I'm trying not to scream. Ooh, that just hit my spirit. You're due for a miracle. Some of y'all overdue, man. You do for a miracle. You just been too good. You've been too strong. Somebody should be putting in the comment section, I'm due for a miracle. Not only am I due for a miracle, my children do for a miracle. You got to confess, I'm due for a miracle. <laughs> I'm due for a celebration. I'm due for it. Come on, I don't see it in the comment section yet. I'm due, I'm due, I'm long overdue for a miracle. I don't know who this message is for. But I, I believe that God is doing a new thing. And this time around, he's uprooting it. He, oh, Jesus. Hear what I'm saying to you. This time around, people of God, he's uprooting it. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? I want somebody to put in the comment section, I believe. I believe. That's the problem. Don't nobody believe anymore. I believe God. Do you believe that God can do it? Do you believe that he can do it? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Do you believe that they are three in one and they can do it? Listen. I'm going to challenge everybody very quickly, people of God, to begin to sow a uproot seed. I don't know what you're believing God for, but I need it uprooted. And I'm believing, oh Jesus, I'm, I'm believing that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is going to help me. So we're going to sow in increments of three. I see 309 just went across the top of the screen. So that means that I'm in the right vein. I want everybody to go and sow a $33 seed. You're going to sow in increments of three. Some of you, it's going to be $33. Some of you, it's going to be $133 because you need to sow for you, your grandchild, and your daughter. Jesus Christ. But I want you to begin to sow. Some of you, it's going to be $13.33. But the initial seed I call is a $33 seed. Come on, I want you to begin to sow very quickly, people of God. Come on, I want you to begin to sow. The ways to give is put to the bottom of the screen. Cash App, Chime, Zelle. PayPal or Venmo, 754-246-0580. Come on. Come on. Don't miss this opportunity to sow. Come on. You're sowing a uprooting seed. $13.33. $33. $133. Come on. Come on. Come on. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God, I need you to do it. I need, I, I, I need you to do it, God. Do what only you can do. 754-246-0580. There are some of you say, Evangelist Shakira, I got to put this $133 uh, uh, seed in the ground because I need God to move for my whole household. Do I got some people that are sowing in faith on today? $33. $133. Tyra, the phone number is pinned to the bottom and you can see, see it in the comment section, baby. 754-246-0580. Hallelujah. No. Mary, I don't know. How are you sewing? If you're sewing via cash app, hold on. Let me just put this down. If you're sewing via cash app, it's going to say Dr. Shakira M. So, oh, Jesus. Come on, 333. Ashley Wesley say 333. Come on, I want to I wanna test you to sow the ways to give. There's so many ways to give. It's the same phone number. 754-246-0580. That's for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Vimo. You'll see it coming in the comment section. It's there, Denise, it's there. All you got to do is put the phone number. There are some of you people of God, watch this. 
You say you need to sow via Apple Pay. The Apple Pay is a different number. 954, hold on, I'm going to call out some names because there are some people sewing. 954-245-7379 is for Apple Pay. 954-245-7379. I'm going to pin it to the bottom of the screen so you can screenshot very quickly for Apple Pay. And then I'm going to put the way to give back to the bottom. It's pinned to the bottom. If you're doing Apple Pay, it's 954-245-7379. For Apple Pay. Go ahead and screenshot it. Go ahead and screenshot it. But let me put the phone number there again. For Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Venmo. It's 754-246-0580. Let me call out some seeds. Because I like to put some names in the atmosphere. I'm saying trust God. Some of you is going to say that I need to accept it. I will accept it when I get off this line. It's telling me to accept it because there's a lot of people sewing. Natasha Smith, I received your seed. Terry Williams, I received your seed. Tamika Shorter, I received your seed. Carlin S Scott, I received your seed. Jennifer Will Willison, I received your seed. There's a lot of people sewing. Come on and begin to sew again. 754-246-0580. That is for Apple Pay. Oh, oh, that is for 954-245-7379 is for Apple Pay. But for people who are doing Cash App, I'm getting ready to put it back down. Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Venmo. It's 754-246-0580. It's bent back to the bottom. I want y'all to put in the memo section... Somebody, Tammy Johnson, I received your seed too on PayPal. Come on, if you sold, come on, I want you to comment below, I sold. See, sometimes you just got to step out on faith. Step out on faith. You know if this uproot uh, live was for you. You know if this live was for you. Come on, begin to sow. We're sowing in increments of 33. $13.33. $133. $33. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The waters are stirring. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The enemy don't want you to sow. But you got to trust God. 754-246-0580. I sold. Hold on. I sold. Latyra La La McIntosh. Pretty Gang Studios. May God bless your business, woman of God. Val say, I sold. Sharonica, I sold. Blessings to you. Sheila say, I believe. I sold. Come on. Come on. Come on. Erica say, I sold. Monique say, I sold $33. Come on. My God. Walk Faith say, I'm sewing for you, Tammy Jones. I'm telling you, that's the way it worked. That's the way it worked. Don't say you sold if you didn't sow. You don't got to lie. If you don't got it to give, God will bless you. Some of y'all, y'all tagged and shared. That's all you can do. God will bless you. He know the truth and he know your heart. But there are some people that say, I got to put a seed in the ground. I've been stuck in this situation too long and I need God to uproot it. God is saying, I'm uprooting it. Do you believe? Do you believe? 754-246-0580. All you got to do is copy and paste the phone number. Let me let me paste just the phone number to the bottom. Some of you say Evangelist Shakira. You say, I, uh, I need you to send me an invoice. Text the number 754-246-0580 for the word. Text the, text the word invoice. I get paid tomorrow but going to be obedient. So because I need this, I know this message was for me. That's it, April. You got to step out on faith, baby. It's according to your will. Remember, you're putting in the comment section, uproot. Tammy, wait, uh, 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 walk faith so for you, baby. You late. If you need an invoice, uh, I could be green. You have to text 754. Hold on. I'm putting it in there for you. Text the same phone number at the bottom, the word invoice. 
with your email in the amount you want me to request. Listen, you guys, I love you guys. God bless you guys. Follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFadden. I upload every live video thereafter. So you can send uh, the live to your loved ones who don't have social media. Follow me on Instagram at Shakira underscore the realtor. Follow me on TikTok at Evangelist Shakira. I only have one. I'm not collecting money for no uh, fundraisers. None of that is me. One page, Evangelist Shakira. And follow me, people of God, um, on Facebook. Very important. Hear me. If you're going to follow me on Facebook, hit the follow button. Then hit the favorites button. Hit the follow button. Then hit the favorite button so it let you know every time I am live. This Saturday, I am releasing my new book. I fell in love with a thug, but it will be on Amazon as of Thursday. Thursday, you can go on Amazon, type in Shakira McFan. You'll see all my books there. This new book, Mighty God, I'm telling you, it's going to give us clarity. I even will be doing a class, and all you have to do is buy the book to get in the class. So we'll talk about that a little bit more, but look out Thursday on Amazon and y'all will see me live talking about the book. Please rewatch the live, baby. It is good. It was good. I will save it. Rewatch the live. Let me call out some more names. Yvette Robertson, I receive your seed. Tamika Harris, Steve received. Nicole B, C received. Sharita Wright, Steve received. Latara McCant, C received. Sheila Wood, C received. Jamila Simmons, C received. Brittany Taylor, C received. Chocolate Doll, I love you, babe. C received. LaQuisha uh, Cooper, uh, C received. There's a lot of people sewing. Let me check. Apple Pay is a different phone number. There are some people who sold on Apple Pay. Hold on. Um, Tormisha Hurling, I receive your seed. Wilson Smith, I receive your seed. C Moak at, at Hotmail, C receive. There's a lot of people sowing seeds. And we're sowing in increments of three. Uh, Ke Ke Marion, K E Y M A. R E O N C receive Erica C receive somebody sold a dollar C receive you got to step out on faith baby so according to you Beverly C receive Natasha Smith C receive Sharonica Durham C receive I love you guys God bless you guys set your alarm clocks for 10 p.m. Eastern time follow me on Facebook at Shakira McFadden hit the follow button then get favorites Sharonica Durham saying she is sewing for Nikki. She's sewing for Nikki. Sky says she sold on Chime. Yes. Thank you, Sky. Thank you, Sky. Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Venmo. Listen, you guys, this Saturday, if you are in Fort Lauderdale, Miami, or Palm Beach, I am doing a praise fest this Saturday at 5 p.m. You can look on my page for the address. Um, it's my book release and praise fest. We're going to turn up. It ain't no preaching. It's just uh, 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 we got gospel comedians. We got uh, 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 praise singers. We got worshipers. We got gospel rappers. We got praise dancers. We got mom dancers. We're going to turn up and then we're going to have one of the biggest altar calls ever. That's going to break burdens off the people of God. It's a free event, man. Come out. Sometimes you just need to be in a different atmosphere, man. You need to be in a, a different atmosphere. Um, Zytorian Ross Ford, C receive Lakeisha Young Seymour, C receive Laquisha Cooper, C receive Locks by Lachey, C receive she sold a dollar. May God bless your business, baby. Taisha Brooks, C receive Erica, C receive Monique Pullis. See, receive, and we're sowing in increments of 33. I love you guys. Ashley, God bless your seed, baby. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Set your alarm clocks for 10 p.m. Eastern time. I will be live. Have a great day.